I'm tired. I'm tired too. I already I covered you, the gin though. All right. Did I tell you I did a thousand pounds of concrete today? No, you did a thousand pounds of cron concrete on three days ago. Yeah, last two weeks. Ago. Last Thursday. Three episodes ago. By the time we actually get this recorded episode, it's more like a year and a half it could ago. Be. <laughs> we need socks on a dog. Cheers. Welcome, welcome everybody. How are you today? I'm good. So today we're doing gin. London Dry Gin. London Dry Gin. Um, and I never really liked gin. I think we talked about this last episode until uh, actually my wife kind of hooked me on it. I like it. My first time having gin was probably about 15 years ago when our little brother showed up and he loved gin so he went and bought gin and you I thought it was the nastiest thing. That was in it the was store. awful and he loved it and he drank almost all of it about that much and then that much stayed in the house for about 15 years. I don't know actually what happened to it but Ended up being like six dollar gin or something because it was horrible. Yeah, he bought the cheapest stuff there was. And I shouldn't say who that brother is because you know he's a he watches subscriber the show. now. He's a fan. But um, my wife and I went to London and we um, drank quite a bit of gin. I thought and bought some gin. And this is one that we bought. It's the Waitrose London Dry Gin. Waitrose is a big supermarket. It's a supermarket. This is a supermarket. If you go to Kroger's, this would be the Kroger's brand. Yeah. And actually, we found out that one of the number one gins in the world is Aldi. Right? Aldi? Aldi. Aldi. But um, I don't know of any Aldi's that sell gin here. But the Aldi no, brand because gin. Aldi is a European grocery store that has made market into the United right. States. But um, I don't know of any local Aldi that sells alcohol. No, because here we're, in we're Texas, Texas, they don't sell alcohol. But in Arizona, if there was an Aldi's there, they would sell. Yeah, and apparently it's like two years running the number one gin. Right. We'll have to try it out. Um, but this is a Waitrose brand, and um, it's kind of good. I've learned a lot about gin over the summer and spring when we went to London and we came back with several bottles. This is a 375 It's $10. Actually, I think it was like $6.99 or something pounds. About yeah. $10. So that's going to put it in the four because it's over 10 bucks for a uh, 750 But I'm betting if they sold this in the United States at a grocery store, it would probably be like a $10. Cause most supermarket are like between $10 and $12, so it would be right there. So ten, twelve dollars if it was sold here, it'd be the yeah. price point. So it's definitely an average man. Might be. Um, so gin is basically evergreen, right? It's a neutral spirit. It just has um, bot botanicals in it. Yeah, this says as eight botanicals, but it, yeah. they all smell like Christmas trees to me. Oh, actually, we got a glass board. Yeah, they smell very. I know this has got a little no, lemony I, zest. To I don't. I don't smell the juniper because most of the Christmassy thing is the juniper, and I, I don't really smell that in here. My wife really likes an elderberry. Elderberry. I know I say that every time, but I can't. Every time. Elder flower. Elder flower. Elder flower. Elder, Elder flower. Your mother is a Stop. <laughs> I can't help myself. And so let's look at aroma. I don't even know how to gauge this because it's so aromatic. I mean, I can smell like some lemon. I can smell 
that evergreen. Can you smell the... You can smell a little bit right there. Really? No, actually I can't. There's a little juniper -y and Junipery? Junipery. That's a name. That's a Where's word. Where's Siri? We need to ask Siri if that's Junipery. a word. Junipery. And he has some citrus and stuff. Yeah, some citrus. So what do you think? My chin itches. That's what I think. Four. Maybe you're allergic to it. Here, I'll take that. So aroma no. sharp alcohol. No, no alcohol to me. I'm at gonna all. go with a mild number but, three. I'll okay, have. pungent's two. Mild is three. Light four and pleasant five. I think I would do a four. I'd go four. I think it's very light. So you're doing a three, and you're a gin person. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're used to something else. Okay. <laughs> One of our uh, backstage hands needs out to go potty. Yeah. One of the stage hands. One of the stage hands. Okay, flavor. So we have very alcohol, bitter but palatable, moderate, which is a three, pleasant and rich. I like this. Okay. I have yet to meet an alcohol you don't like. Shan Ripple. <laughs> I think you made that up, but okay. <laughs> no, that was that was from the um, Sanford and Son. You gotta be old like me to remember. Yeah, I all. remember Sanford. And Son. I would. Mm, I I put this at a two point five. It's a little bit bitter to me. I'm going three. I say three. Okay. See, we didn't copy you this time. <laughs> I, I think I just... But I'm not a gin person, so... I'd go do the whole thing all the way. I'd just say three. Three on the bite? All the... Okay, so that's uh, 13 points for you, which is a three, 3.25. Bite. Mm. Yeah, I would have to do a three. Because I don't think it's strong or sharp, and it's barely lingering to me. So I'm at a 9.5. So that's a 2.5, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 2.5 for me. Because I need to get to 12 to get to that 3. What do you say? 3. Three for you. So you're the same as Andy, 13, 3.25. So we just knock it down to a three barrel, go up on me, down on you. Yeah. Okay, so this is a silly question. How do you drink it? Definitely not this way. Oh, uh, mostly you don't drink gins like here. Straight, but except for um, this is gins are for. Um, Martinis and martinis are almost straight with just a little bit of citrus twist, like a lemon or lime. Or uh, I like vermouth or something. Except in the other ones, I like the dirty martinis with a little bit of um, pickle juice. Or pickle juice, yeah, or um, olive juice, because I like I like a three olive martini because okay. So one of the things that uh our, uh, gin and tonic. Yeah. I love gin That's and what tonics. my wife and I, I were love drinking quite tonics. a bit. In fact, I think she's waiting for her gin and tonic tonight. Um, and when you... The whole gin and tonic kind of like changes the whole aspect of yeah. gin. And then you put it on ice so it's it mellows Cold, everything out. You got the lime in there and the tonic. You got the quinine that's in the tonic, which is... I mean... Gin and tonic is the perfect summer drink to me. Okay. And we have not had one this summer. What's up with that? We've been waiting to open these to try. You know you can buy your own. 
Cody could buy my own. <laughs> All right, so this is Waitrose London Dry Gin, um, found only at the Waitrose markets in London. And I can England. understand how people think that gin is acquired. Hey, you're recording now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can understand why people think gin's an acquired taste. Go. Your motive is you're angry at the camera guy. Yeah, we're we're angry at the camera guy. Um, anybody out there in video land that wants to. I believe the camera. Become a camera guy. Yeah, we're hiring. It doesn't pay anything, and you have to buy your own alcohol. But we're hiring. Yeah, and you just get a little cup of alcohol, a little uh -huh. sip. No, that's not at the start. That's a perk that that's you perk. earn. You got to earn it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so waitress uh, dry gin found only in uh, London, um, but it's pretty decent. So if you're in Europe, you can go to the waitress, not London, but in Europe. If you go to waitress, you can pick it up. Just go to the grocery store and buy it. Yeah. If you're here, you can go to the grocery store, but you won't find it. Yeah. But tell us about uh, any grocery store brand alcohols that you do come across and let us know how they are. And make sure you check out the blog and the Twitter and the merch and Anything like else? and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Definitely Tell like your subscribe. friends. Tell your friends. Share it. And we will check you next time. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Later. You're fired. And then there's tequila. Oh, yeah. You can buy like huge gallons of tequila. I'm going to try and recreate the conversation. <laughs> Bye.